Hey there guys, Kevin here with my comic reviews this week, and I got to read It Girl and the Atomics number two. Now I'm a huge Mike Allred fan, uh, but I never really got into Mad Men all that much. He has some other great books and he does some really, really great artwork for other people, but I just never gave, got into his creator and stuff. And this is one of his spin-off series from Mad Men. It's actually It Girl is a girlfriend of another character in, in the world or whatever, but really, really good. It was actually very surprising how great this book was, being that it was second issue, didn't know too much about it. Um, but it's a very traditional superhero story, very like kind of like the way it's set up. Um, it girl, or uh, yeah, it girl is not a superhero per se. She has a personality and a persona and yada yada yada. But she doesn't actually really fight crime. She has like a video game and she's she's like a symbol. It's it's interesting to see how it's focusing on her when she doesn't really do the thing that these people normally do. But she is in this issue, and and it it's cool to see that. Cool to see her thrown into that because you really don't get that unless you're rereading a Spider-Man origin because they're going to write four million of those or something of the like. But either way, check this out if you're looking for something a little different, maybe a little Venture Brothers-y because that's kind of what I was getting. Not as vulgar, but still definitely funny, lighthearted, and a great time because it's just a really good book. So check this out. It Girl in the Atomics number two. I am giving it four out of five nerd skulls.